Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. All right, let's get into this. Spirits, angels, spirits, messages for Libra when it comes to love. Just Libra, I need to know. For Libra. Sorry, Libra. Messages for Libra, please. Just on the swan. Privileged lady, number 12. I instantly thought of the nine of pentacles here. A total cats. And then expectation. Interesting. So you know, I feel like this is you, possibly, Libra waiting for someone or vice versa someone could be waiting for you we'll see there's an expectation here like maybe you're waiting for a message back some sort of communication um i feel like you're doing well for yourself and this is you you are this privileged feminine energy um you're doing very well maybe single independent successful securing yourself Okay, so let's see. Spirit messages for Libra, please. Regarding love. Regarding love. What do you need to know? Okay, let's cut the deck. In the recent past, we have the Two of Cups reverse. In your energy, we have the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Currently, we have the Nine of Swords. The present energy with Eight of Cups. In their energy, we have the Ten of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. There's the Nine of Pentacles. And then in the near future, the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So there's some sort of disconnect here in a connection, in a partnership. I don't know if this is with you and your person or outside of you, but... It is affecting this connection in some way. There's some sort of departure here. There's worry, anxiety, guilt with the Nine of Swords, fear. Fear that someone could be leaving, fear that someone, you know, the worst has come to actually happen or come to pass. We'll clarify and see. Um, I think that we have a lot of love for this person, King of Cups. Um, maybe they're a very sensitive person or very loving, emotionally mature, or this is you. Um, Ten of Pentacles, you both have tens. So, and they both feature families, especially in this deck. Both of these tens, there's children here. There's a couple here. So I don't know if this is what you are desiring for each other to be in a connection like this, something long term, or if one of you is already in something like this. Interesting. I think that they are admiring you with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is how they see you. So let's clarify. Let's get into this and see. What happened here with this Two of Cups reverse? What happened with the Two of Cups reverse? Seven of Cups reverse. Can you get one more, please? So this Two of Cups reverse. I just noticed that all of your cards are upright except for this one the world yeah there was definitely some sort of ending here the end of a cycle bottom of the deck i have the tower so something here must have happened something unexpected seven of cups reverse this is someone that might have made the wrong choice here tell me about the nine of swords with this eight of cups why is the nine of swords here with the eight of cups Four of Swords. Surprised that all of these are coming up upright. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this King of Cups, by the way. Can you get one more? One more for this Nine of Swords with the Eight of Cups. 
Queen of Cups. Wow. I feel like if there was a departure, there's still love here. Emotions are still... I don't know. There's emotional an emotional connection here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups is here. Also the King of Pentacles. Again, the King of Pentacles for me is typically already in some sort of a long-term commitment. And in this deck, he appears much older, someone more mature. Masculine energy. And then I have the Queen of Cups. Now with the Four of Swords, there could, you know, this could be a card about healing, reflecting, um, or limited communication, limited action. Interesting. I have the Six of Cups reversed. I feel like this happened in the past, but it's still something that either you or this person or both of you are dealing with. And it has to do with some sort of departure. This could have already happened, this departure. There could be guilt wrapped up in that departure. Anxiety, remorse. Let's see how you feel about each other. I have your energy on this side and then your person's energy on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Spirit, tell me more about Libra's energy and this other person's energy, please. Tell me more about Libra's energy and this other person's energy, please. love letter message confession response a message is on its way i feel like this is what you're waiting for because i feel like you're the one kind of waiting for something or maybe you know you're, you could be waiting to communicate with this person or waiting for this person to communicate with you let's see what about this other person's spirit tell me about this other person's energy Difficult decision, options, choice, and decision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. So your person has a choice to make. Maybe you're waiting for them to make that decision. Balancing act, juggling indecision. So we have two cards about indecision. This person isn't sure what to do. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about this King of Cups. Five of Swords reverse. Can we let the King of Cups, please? Eight of Swords. Another card about fear. Gemini just had these two cards come up in their reading as well. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you might want to check that out. But there's overthinking here, fear, and this is about what some uh, some sort of conflict that already happened. So you are probably, you know, feeling stuck or thinking of someone who is stuck. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? What's this about? Three of Cups reversed. So there could definitely be an interference here. In the form of a family, a commitment, finances. Can I get one more for the Ten of Pentacles? Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you want to begin something here. You have a lot of passion, love for this person. This could also be that despite whatever's in the way, there's still love here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Let's look at your person. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What's this about? Three of Pentacles. Another card about like three different people. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Knight of Pentacles Reverse. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands. So courage, uh, standing up for what you truly, you know, for yourself, standing firm, uh, fighting back, fighting for something, facing the opposition with courage. 
Knight of Pentacles reverse. So this could very well be something that is very slow and happening. Maybe this is someone who's facing too many obstacles or delays in getting their their happiness or building something here with the Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles about? What's the Three of Pentacles about? Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's like no movement, no communication, um, no progression here. Like things are at a standstill with the Eight of Wands reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, tell me about the Nine of... Okay, we got the Sun. We got one more for the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Page of Swords. So this person, I think they want to communicate. I feel also like they might be watching you. Observing you, watching you on social media. They see you in some way. Um, I don't know if they see you at work or online. I think they want to communicate as well. I have the Page of Swords on their side. And we have the love letter card. There could be good news that this person wants to tell you or uh, good news that this person receives. Tell me about this page of swords. What's this page of swords about? Six of Cups Reverse. <laughs> the past. You're getting so many cards that the Gemini reading got. And I used a whole different deck with them, by the way. Bottom of the deck, Justice. There you are, showing up to your own reading. Something's going to be fair and balanced to you here. Hmm. So where is this all headed in the near future? I'm going to be um, clarifying this. Ooh this energy here so let's see what is the seven of pentacles about because seven of pentacles is a card about wondering if something's going to work out in your favor wondering if the seeds you planted are going to grow having doubts you know but doing the work anyway taking the time to, to grow something here tell me more about the seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles about Queen of Pentacles reverse, so we have King and Queen of Cups, and then the King and Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reverse to me is a card about being unable to give because you are needy of something. So you're not able to give, instead you need to take. This is also could be a card about financial instability or financial insecurity. You have the higher font reverse, Taurus energy, and then the eight of pentacles. Hmm. Interesting that we have the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. This is a card. These two cards are about work effort. But then I have the higher font reverse with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So this is, could be um, messages about a broken commitment, a commitment that's not doing very well, or this could be somebody that needs to rebel against what's expected of them. These two cards, seven and eight of Pentacles, are telling me that there's something that's still ongoing it hasn't already happened, right? Um, this is someone that's actively working, planting seeds, waiting to for the outcome, right? So I don't think this is, whatever is happening in the near future is ongoing. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? What's someone working on, Spirit? What are somebody working on here with the Eight of Pentacles? Also, the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse for your person, 
there's delays here. There, there's not a lot of uh, motion. Something's at a standstill. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands again. Can I get one more, please, for this Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles about? It's like someone's working on whatever is challenging them. King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords, Reverse. Interesting. Whoever this is that's working diligently, um, they are very analytical, decisive. Emotions don't get in the way here. And it's funny, I don't have any cups here. Nowhere in this uh, feature energy. Because this is a very uh, deliberate effort that someone's making. They're trying to be smart, analytical, logical, tough. This could also be you. Some of you could be resisting this person's efforts. Could be a small number of you, but I do see that they're almost like you're not interested or, you know, you're going to require more effort, more energy from this person. But I think the obstacle here with the Seven of Wands, I think it has something to do with this Queen of Pentacles reverse and Hierophant reverse. There's, there's, there could be someone else here because I have the Three of Cups reverse. Tell me if that's resonating with you in the comments. Um, I feel like this is someone that's dealing with some sort of commitment or another partner, possibly another family member, possibly. Now, this Seven of Swords reverse is very interesting to me. This is someone that's caught red-handed or someone that, you know, is seen very clearly or um, the spotlight is on them, you know? So I feel like whatever this person is going to do with this King of Swords, I think it's going to be out in the open. Like, there is no hiding what this person is going to do. Right behind that, I have the Ten of Swords reverse and the Two of Wands reverse. So this, I feel, is related to that difficult decision. The two different paths. A path has been chosen by this person. And it has something to do with a past ending with the Ten of Swords reverse. They could be ready to move on or wanting to deal with some sort of past ending here. I'll leave it here. Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated for you. I hope you got something out of it. If it did resonate for you, then let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. It's a great way to support the channel for free. Thank you to everyone that already does that. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.